Hello. Uh, today we will see one more interesting topic. Okay, so what is this? So okay, if you look at the previous video that we have while creating uh, pine cone index, uh, we have come across this metric, right? Cosine dot product and Euclidean. Uh, okay, why people are choosing cosine over dot product and Euclidean? Okay, so let us um, see that. Okay, with the code okay why why it, cosine is better than um the other uh, matrix which is listed over here okay so before that let us go here okay so i have uh, written few things over here uh sentence transformers which is model which we generally use it for uh, um, this one uh, all mini lm okay and then hugging phase for embedding and uh, line chain uh, which is used for hugging face embeddings and then numpy I have used and then hugging face um, I have used one uh, token to download the model okay so this is uh, already I um, ran this one okay so let us uh, clear this output okay where it is okay so here Clear output. Clear all outputs. Okay. So okay. So that's the thing. Okay. So first I'll run this. Okay. Let us see here. So it is a downloading the models. So what we are going to uh, do is with the same set of, I mean, uh, while passing two different, uh, uh, I mean, uh, while passing two uh, sentences, so what is the similarity between these two uh, sentences, okay? So let us, okay, so first line run. So now we'll start looking each 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 one of the things, okay? So let us first start with set one, okay? So uh, first quest, I mean, first uh, set what I'm going to use is Sachin Tanukar played a lot of African matches. And Sachin is a god of cricket. Okay, so we, some way it is similar, right? And so let us go here. So okay, this is the emerging model uh, which I'm going to use. Okay, so we'll run this um, thing. Okay, so so set one. What I'm going to uh, run is uh, Sachin doesn't play a lot of cricket matches, and the second, the another uh, sentence is Sachin is a god of cricket. So let us run that. Okay. Okay, so if you look at this thing, see cosine similarity is 0 0.53, okay? Uh, seems a dot product similarity, uh, a dot product similarity score is more. Uh, Euclidean is somewhere very close to uh, cosine, okay? So this is, uh, we know that by looking that, this is uh, some way it is contextually meaningful, okay? So now let us go into the next thing, it's okay? So now I'm going to pass two different things. One is this book. The book is so good to read. Okay. Such is a god of cricket. Now, this is uh, statement one and statement two, which is very irrelevant by saying that we are understanding that. Okay. So now let us see that. So before that, let me show you one thing. Why, um, see, you know, cosine similarity and uh, cosine similarity score and the you know, dot product similarity score. Uh, uh, lies between minus one to one, but uh, Euclidean similarity as well. I have used to, uh, in this uh, between uh, minor, I mean uh, zero to one to uh, show that I have uh, converted these things. So that's why uh, we are getting this Euclidean as well zero point five to comparison wise. Okay, so that's why I have given. Okay, now uh, we'll go for the second set. Okay, so the the book is so good to read, and the such is got of cricket. I know that the similarity should be lesser okay so let us go here okay so if you look at the similarity score see uh, in the previous uh, case you might have uh, uh, seen that uh, dot product score is high and uh, euclidean and uh, 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 euclidean and cosine is almost similar now when you go for the next statement which is irrelevant you know but what happens for the cosine similarity and 
the other two. See, cosine similarity score is 0 0.06. Okay, so this means this is irrelevant. This is there is no similarity because one is talking about the book and the other one is talking about the man cricket. Okay, so this is the one. Okay, so cosine similarity is seems to be right here, right? But the other thing is uh, dot product is uh, 0 0.5 and the equating is 0 0.42. Okay. So now let us go on more thing. Okay. So, so this is the thing. The third set what we are going to do is, okay, this ML book is so good to read. Okay. The other thing is the Brito has written very, uh, very good ML book. And concepts are understandable. So that's what I'm trying to look so far. Okay. So let us go here. It was very, very good in the book. Okay. So now let us see here. Okay. So cosine similarity. See here. Context. Almost close. You can say that the, the uh, this book is this MLS book is so good to read. Uh, Brito has written. Okay, so contextually it is meaningful. It is not hundred percentage meaning uh, match, but some way it is meaningful. There is a possibility that uh, uh, that book or whatever in the statement which may be written by Brito as well. So contextually it is uh, uh, meaningful. So here. Cosine similarity score is 60, 0 0.68, and uh, dot product is 0 0.66, and Euclidean is 0 0.55. Okay, so we'll go for the another set. What happens? Okay. Okay, so this is the one thing. Okay, this is the fourth set. We'll go. Okay, how is your new manager managing? And Combined, the the next thing is there is no new projects are coming in my organization. So first thing is talking about the manager. And second thing is talking about the organization, which is irrelevant. So let us go here. Okay. See, Euclidean score and dot product score is high, but cosine similarity is less. Okay. So next thing is. We'll go on one more uh, final thing, okay? So, okay, here I'm giving the one more thing is P ordered one beer and one vodka. Vijay ordered one whiskey and one wine. So even though ordered thing is different, but all are under liquor category. <laughs> so we can say that it is it is it is not 100% match, but you can say that somewhere it is meaningful. Right, let us see. Okay, so mm, cosine similarity is 61, but uh, normalized dot product is 0 0.64 and the is 0 0.53. So now what we'll do is one more thing we'll go. So period of, uh, one beer and one vodka. Now uh, we'll give that irrelevant statement which I went to temple. So now, okay, let us go. Imam went to temple. Let us go here. See, the score is 0 0.13. So, when positive cases um, seems Euclidean and the dot product is high, but in the negative cases, still it is having very high value. But if you look at the cosine similarity, you can see that positive side it is even though it is less but it is you, you cannot see that it is very slight difference between the dot product and cosine but when you go for uh, um, the op exact opposite meaning uh, still the dot product or equality is high value but this is um, very uh, uh, kind of it is very less value right so that's the reason uh, we are going with the cosine so Okay, so let us uh, here see, even though this is, uh, um, let us try here in the organization, in my org, I'm going there, there is no new projects under new manager. Okay, now earlier different thing, now it is different. So let us see here. 
See? Now, contextually, it is meaningful. Now, earlier thing is 0 0.15. Now, it is into 0 0.44. So, it will understand that, okay, it will, uh, it's, it's not just matching the word bag of words. It's, it understands contextually. Uh, so, that's why we are using cosine similarity rather than Euclidean or dot product. Okay. So, that's the reason uh, what I understand that. So, okay, that's what I wanted to share. Uh, if you have any any more examples, you can add it in comment. Or else, if you if you have any questions, you just let me know that I'll will catch up you. Bye.